Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of uh, Pandemic Cooking. I'll be your chef today. My name is Mr. Dawson, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a delicious and ostensibly healthy soup. Uh, I'm gonna, we're going to be doing a broccoli cheese soup, okay? So I'm going to show you two ways to do it. I'm going to show you one where it's like relatively fairly healthy, even though it's got some cheese in it, and then I'm going to show you how to make it super unhealthy by adding a whole bunch of heavy cream. Okay, uh, so let's get started. We're gonna start with just all the ingredients that we need. So this is everything that you're gonna need to make uh, a delicious soup. I've got my broccoli, of course we need that. I've got my mirepoix, uh, onions, celery, and carrot, okay? I've got uh, the cheese that I'm gonna put in at the end. This is stock that I have ready to go here. I have chicken stock here, but you can use vegetable stock if you wanna make this vegetariano. Um, or halal. I've got a little bit of white cooking wine or you can use white cooking wine vinegar as well. I've got hot sauce and, and Worcestershire for flavor. Um, I've got the heavy cream I talked about, salt, pepper, and then I've got margarine and flour that I'm going to use to thicken because uh, we're actually going to make a roux with this. All right. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is I have my pot here on like a medium low, medium heat. You want it hot enough that when you put your margarine in or your butter in, it melts pretty quickly. Okay. If it just sits there and it doesn't do anything, it's not hot enough. All right. So I can tell by the sizzle and everything that that is the correct temperature. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to straight add all my mirepoix. Now you might see here that things are not chopped perfectly evenly. Okay. Uh, if I were doing just like a regular clear soup, then I would make sure everything is chopped nice and evenly so that when you take a spoon of your soup, everything is the same size. But because we're going to end up blending this, it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook this for about five or six minutes, trying not to brown anything. Okay. And then after it's cooked, we add the next steps and we cook it for a little bit longer. Uh, and that's it. So when we come back, we'll see uh, fully cooked vegetables and I'll show you the next step. Uh, so if you come take a look here, what I've got is my carrots and my onions and my celery. I sauteed them for about five or six minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Time is nonsense. And then what I've done is I've added my broccoli here too. Okay, now here's something I want to show you. So I've got my broccoli, the florets, they're uh, chopped up like this, right? So that they're not giant and huge because they just take longer to cook. But then I've also got the stem of the broccoli here too, right? So the stem of the broccoli is very flavorful, very nutritious. The only issue is, is that the outside is very hard and, and fibrous. So you just trim out the outside, chop up the stem of the broccoli like this, and then you're not having nearly so much waste when you're, when you're making this soup. And this soup right here is a very healthy mixture of things, okay? Because uh, all you've got are your carrots, your onions, your celery, and your broccoli. So it's high in micronutrients. It's high in phytochemicals and it's very high in fiber. Okay. Uh, so what we've done is I've heated up the broccoli a little bit. We're going to cook it a little bit more. Um, and I've got a bunch of butter or margarine in here. Right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add flour to this. Okay. And we're going to make what's called a roux. So a roux is a thickening agent. Some of you know this, some of you may not. A roux is a thickening agent for soups and sauces. Okay. Uh, the mother of all sauces. The, mo the mother of all sauces. Oh my gosh, Catherine. Um, That's a great start. Uh, yes. So uh, you add equal parts weight of flour and margarine. So if you have 100 grams of margarine, you're going to add 100 grams of flour. Usually, if you have, say, a quarter cup of margarine, you're going to add about half a cup of flour to make a proper roux. I didn't measure anything, um, but the recipe that I give you will have all the measurements you need, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to toss a bunch of flour in here, and it's going to look weird, and you're going to be like, um, is that right? And I'm going to be like, yes, it is right. Now, because this soup is going to get blended, and it's very fibrous vegetables in here, you don't actually need, like the thickest roux you can possibly imagine because the the blending of the vegetables by itself is going to thicken up the soup okay so if you want to make this totally no carb you can actually skip this roux making step just fine and you can go right on to just adding your liquids and at that point you can blend this and it'll still be a fine um low carb or very 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 low carb uh soup okay um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this a little bit. Now a roux 
if the longer you cook it, the less thickening power it has, okay? But if you uh, don't cook it at all, then you're gonna end up with a very floury tasting soup. So what I wanna do is I wanna cook this for about a minute, maybe a few minutes, um, just until we get what's called like a, uh, like a light brown roux or a blonde roux or whatever, just to cook out some of that flour flavor, okay? And maybe if you can see here, it's sticking to the bottom a little bit, which is fine, right? That's all gonna come up when I add the liquid. So let's talk a little bit about the liquid that I'm gonna add. You wanna add some kind of stock, right? Like I said before, I've got chicken stock here. You can use vegetable stock if you wanna keep it vegetarian. Um, you can use chicken stock. I probably wouldn't use beef stock. Sarah, would you use beef stock? No, that sounds gross. Yeah, that sounds gross. Um, but I really like a good chicken stock in here. Um, and then I've also got my acid because uh, soups and sauces and everything taste better when you have some acidity in it. So I've got my acid here, either white wine or the white wine vinegar. And then my flavoring agents that I put in lots of things, hot sauce and Worcestershire sauce, okay? Uh, so this has been cooking for about a minute. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my stock and I'm gonna do it until it covers the vegetables almost completely, right? It doesn't need to fully cover them, okay? Uh, like there's still some vegetables popping up here, that's fine. And then I'm gonna add my other flavoring agents, Turn, turning this up to maximum heat. I'm gonna add a couple drops of Worcestershire, a little bit of hot sauce. I prefer Tabasco, but all we have here is Frank's Red, which is a poor substitute, but it's fine, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this up to a boil, I'm gonna cover it with a lid, and I'm gonna simmer it until everything is nice and soft. So when we come back, we're gonna have nice uh, soup that we're gonna be ready to blend, and then I'm gonna show you how to make a healthy version and a less healthy version. All right, see you then. Welcome back. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this soup, and you see that uh, everything is fully cooked. So if I go in and I try to stab a piece of broccoli, it just goes right in. If I go in, I try to stab a carrot, it just goes right in. So now it's gonna be really easy to blend. Do we have a name for any of these? So then Violet Tchotchkes. Violet Tchotchkes, white, yeah. Okay, yeah. So what I'm gonna do and uh, is I'm gonna blend this until it is totally smooth, okay? So we're just gonna speed up the next part and we'll come back when it is blended. Okay, welcome back. Uh, so what I've got here is I've got my blended uh, broccoli cheese soup. I've got the, uh, there's only a couple little chunks in there and that's fine. I've got the cheese in there. So right now, this is a fairly healthy soup, okay? The only thing that's in here that's not super healthy is gonna be that little bit of butter and the cheese. Wasn't a ton of cheese. I see people looking at me like, healthy, there's cheese. It's not a ton of cheese, okay, people? Um, and other no, than that- No, because I threw the celery into the garbage and it landed on the door. That's what we were looking at. Yeah. That's what we were looking at. That's all. Um, but other than that, it's just a bunch of vegetables, right? It's broccoli, it's carrots, it's celery, it's onions, it's delicious. So this is actually a good soup right here, like this. Like this just tastes good. It's gonna need some salt and pepper. But as it is, it's actually delicious, okay? Um, believe me. Uh, but if you want to take this from being delicious to being something that would be really awesome to like serve to people and really impress people, this is what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna take, take your soup and you wanna put it through a fine sieve or something called a china cap, okay? Um, we don't have any here, I would love to show you, but if you wanna know what it is, just Google it. Google china cap cooking and it'll show up because it's a very common tool. What we're gonna do is we're gonna strain out basically the fiber, okay? You're basically straining out all of the fibrous bits. Can I just grab oh, you? Yes. Give me a Thank you. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing at this point is we're straining out all the fibrous bits of the vegetables, okay? So this process, it takes a while, but you can see it's coming up through the bottom and I'm just squishing it against it here. This is gonna make a very smooth, very silky soup. And then all we would do at the end with this very smooth, here, I'll put it over here so you can see it. So it's making a very smooth, very silky soup, okay? Surprisingly orange for the amount of broccoli that I have in here, but whatever, it's fine. 
And then all I would do is reheat it with a splash of heavy cream. So when we come back, you're going to see two different uh, bowls of soup here. You're going to see one that is the healthy, no cream version, unstrained, and one that is the strained version with the heavy cream. All right, see you in a second. Perfect. So we have two different bowls of soup here. Now you see they're not as green as you'd think of a broccoli cheddar uh, soup. A lot of that is because I do have the carrots uh, in there as well. So if you want to make it like really more green, then you take out those carrots and everything else will be fine. Um, but you see we have here, this is the one that I've strained. I've added a little bit of heavy cream on top. You're just going to stir that in. You, you serve it like this, you stir it in. It's beautiful. This is the one over here that has not been strained and so it's going to end up being a lot more uh, fibrous and a lot thicker and a little bit chunkier, okay? So now you know how to make a perfect delicious broccoli cheese soup. You can make a healthy version or you can make an unhealthy version. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to also check out Miss Thelma's Chuck's pierogi video that she's doing simultaneously. Would you love? Just love. Love. Just in love with. And thanks so much for watching. <laughs>